Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm a little nervous because I'm actually retracting on a product I had told you about, told you not to get. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's very, very confusing, but I'm hoping to get to the bottom of it today. So if you want to see what product I'm talking about and how I came up with this look, please continue watching. And if you are new today, the biggest welcome to you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell and join our amazing family here. All right, you guys, come see that product I am talking about. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy my new background. It's kind of spooky for the season. Um, I got those little signs there from the dollar store. And I think they're just so cute and that little tree here, I got that at Michael's many years ago. So let's address the elephant in the room. Um, I'm sure the title kind of threw you off, but um, I feel like I did mislead you guys because several times on the same product, um, I had tested it and um, I loved it. And then I wrote, you know, I went back and wrote something about it saying it didn't last. And I had tried it again and it didn't last. So I switched up primers and I think um, it was definitely the primer. So I'm going to try it one more time and we're going to film it. And <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. So uh, the product is that Hey Honey Trick or Treat or Trick, trick and Treat uh, CC Cream. And I've been wearing it. I wore it all day yesterday and it looked beautiful by the end of the day. So I'm going to do exactly what I did yesterday and let's see if it was a fluke or what the heck is with this you know, CC cream here because um, yeah, it's a tricker, right? So today I'm just going to do a full face and but I am going to try to switch it up maybe once in a while just do the foundation review and whatnot. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try out here is I actually got this on Amazon and I found it through a recommendation um, through Taylor Wynn and I guess she had purchased this palette and really liked it. It's called Magic Makeup Palette. How perfect for this uh, time of the year. Fantasy and changeable, which I don't get what that is. Maybe that's just the company or something, but um, you just open it up. There is no mirror and they're very tiny pans. Um, so let's see. Yeah, they're very tiny pans, but there's a lot of shades and she really, really enjoyed it. Let's just start off with the huge. Uh, I'm going to use my Onest Primer. And I'm thinking of doing, you know, another fall look, of course. I think I'm going to mix this and this uh, for my transition shade and hopefully uh, come up with a very good mixture here. And I'm just going to go in really light until I see what shade this thing is. And I might have to wipe off my brush. Yeah, it's pretty orange. Um... So I think I am going to wipe off my brush just a little bit and then go in and just start buffing away. And I'm just going to do a basic eye look, but I just want to get the feel of this palette. These shadows are okay. I don't know if it's the brush. Let me try. It just, I feel like they're not blending, um, you know, really easy. So, and it could just be the brush, you guys. So I'm just going to go try a different brush. Okay, so let me mix the, those two shades again. And I'm going to try it with this brush and see if there is a difference with that, you know, with the formula. I'm just hoping that it's not the formula. Ooh, <laughs> I tell you what though, they are pigmented. I just put a little bit on there and it really lays down that color. Yeah, I think it was the brush because um, this one seems to be a little bit better. So maybe um, it was just too of a fluffy brush or something. But yeah, this side seemed to blend a lot easier. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this like orange shade here. You guys, I am a glutton for punishment, I swear. Um, so I'm just going to pack this on. It's a pretty shade though. And I'm just using that new, uh, those new brushes that I purchased the other day or a few videos back. I don't know when it came out, but um, the ones from Morphe that I really raved about, um, I've been using those pretty much nonstop. 
Now they are just a very nice little $12 set, I tell you that much. They definitely get the job done. So do you guys have any cool um, Halloween parties to go to? Uh, I used to go to a lot of them, you guys. I would dress up just in some crazy outfits. And um, we used to have a blast. So when I lived in Virginia, we did a lot of that. We went to a lot of uh, Halloween parties, you know, and just always came up with a different theme. And then when I first moved back here before COVID, um, my niece, her husband is in a band and uh, we would go to these cool like parties that they would have at the clubs you know um where he played and yeah we had some pretty interesting costumes <laughs> maybe one day i will share a few of those with you guys okay so this coming together i you know i like the palette for the price um it's not bad you know it's just um i had a little trouble there and i like i said i think it was the brush now i'm actually going to mix these two together i'm a mixer you guys the black and this deep chocolate brown and I'm just basically, you know, tapping uh, when I do that. I'm using a small pointy brush. And I'm just going to put this right there in this outer corner. And once that's laid down, I'm just going to move this around. And I'm just going back and forth with the two brushes just to see exactly what I'm wanting here. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that orange up again and kind of mesh these two together. Yeah, I like this. So I'm going to do the same, of course, with this eye. Yeah, I just feel like I need to take my time with this and not rush it. Um, because I feel if I rush it, it could become a little messy um so i'm just taking my time okay so this is where we're at and now i gotta find a shimmer that i think that would look fun with this look i think i'm just going to keep it mild and i'm going to try this shimmer right here so let's see how these shimmers are and ooh, yeah they're whoa these are was not expecting that. Um, yeah, these are pretty pigmented uh, shimmers. They're super buttery, and they're not, you know, really chunky where everything's flying around, um, which is good. You know how I do not like that. I don't want glitter fairies all in my <laughs> beauty room again. Um, so, yeah, that's super pretty. And now I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of make everything blend together. Now, there's a really cool shade I want to see here. I don't even know what that is. It almost looks like a army green, but no. See, I'm glad I didn't use that. I mean, it looked completely different in the pan. So, it's, I mean, there is a little green hue to it, but not was I, you know, what I was expecting. So, I'm glad I didn't use that because uh, I almost went there. It's probably best for me to swatch things before I put them on my eye. So, okay, so it's not bad. I actually really like this. Honestly, just thought, uh, you know that the shadows would be a little easier to work with um i mean they're not horrible but the price you know of the palette was really good um and again it could have been because i started off you know using the wrong brush and i'm just using my glam light calligraphy pen uh to line my eye and i'm not going to do a huge wing or anything today so what I do want to tell you guys, this is what I wore yesterday, and we'll see if this is what helped. So I actually got this. Um, I had a coupon, I don't know, a few weeks back at Kohl's, actually. <laughs> and it's e.l.f. Super Hydrate, and this is their Hydrating Squalling. So it's super cool. It has a gel consistency, and you do not need a lot. I probably use about that much each time. And, and it's nice. It's super, um, there's no alcohol in here. Um, it has a lot of skin um, benefits in it. Now, the only thing is there is a tackiness. So I have been finding that it's perfect as a primer under your makeup. 
And plus you're getting the skincare benefits out of it too. But as you can see how sticky that is. And you will get like that a little tightness. I don't know if tightness is the wrong word. Not like a drying tightness, but like firmness. Um, and that's what I love about it. You know, it just, I'm really super happy. I purchased this. I seriously thought it was going to be a moisturizer. When I opened it, I'm like, what is this? And I really like it. So I don't know if that's what's contributing to why this stayed on so well. And then to cover my pores instead of my blur stick, I've been using this. Um, and it's that L'Oreal Perfecting Base. I really do like this. And that, again, was through that recommendation um, through Tisha. Um, yeah, it just works really well. Again, it feels... Normally, I would wait for that to um, <laughs> sit a little longer. I should have put that on um, right away. But I did want to show you guys. So... I'm kind of putting on last minute, so I hope that doesn't interfere with this test here today. But yeah, this is a really nice pore filler. It really does the job, and you know, you do not have to use a lot of product. That's what I like. Um, it should last longer than my Maybelline Blur Stick, um, but I still love my Blur Stick too, you guys. So, you know, it's a toss up. One isn't, I don't think, better. Um, they do work pretty much the same. This one is just less drying. So if you have really dry skin, this would be the one for you instead of probably the Maybelline Blur Stick. Okay, let's use this again, you guys. I got mine in the shade Light to Medium. And it's a pretty spot-on shade. That's what I love, too. And I do use about two pumps. The past few times that I have used it, I did apply it with a brush. So I don't know if that hit made a difference as well, but we are going to try that again today. And then I go back in with a sponge. You know how I am, you guys. I always like, I always like to use my sponge. Even if the brush does the trick, I just feel like it really pushes that into my skin. We all have our little strange habits. Okay, and then I always spray my brushes or sponges with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And I'm going to go in and start blending away. And like I had a pretty nice blemish or something going on there. And it covers it really well. So this is not just an average tinted moisturizer or CC cream. I mean, this, this does have some pretty nice coverage. And I'll try to you know, make it to you where you guys can see um, how it does cover the redness. And I'm going to bring it down. You guys, I, I need to start writing things down. It definitely was not two pumps that I needed or used the other day. Okay, so let me take a look. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a very, very, very nice. Um, and it does apply really well with that brush. Um, yeah, I just like I don't even really need to do this, um, but I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to. Um, and I will just add a little bit of product where it could just use a little bit more. It's usually right here in the T-zone uh, because I tend to go in there last because I don't want tons of product, you know, uh, piling up on my nose. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. And I'm telling you guys, it really photographs really nice. Um, I took some pictures for Instagram the other day in natural lighting. In natural lighting, it actually looks better. I'll probably put them here so you guys can take a look at them because, um, again, yeah, it just, it's a beautiful foundation um, for photography. To show that pore filler is, you guys, this. That pore filler is beautiful. What I love about this um, CC cream or whatever it is, CC2, <laughs> whatever it is, what I love about it is it's not too matte and it's not too dewy. It's like that perfect formula. I just really love it. So this is where we're at, you guys. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can take a look. I really like it. Okay, so for um, concealer, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to use my NARS Color Corrector. I haven't used this forever. Again, this is one of those products I wasn't too thrilled about. 
but you just need, I mean, very minute amount. <laughs> and this one, you probably don't want to have it sit around um, too long because it is a little drying, but it does, you know, cover the redness pretty good. It's like a peach color. I think the first few times I used it, I used way too much. So, um, yeah, this I even probably could use a little bit more, but I'm not going to. I don't want it looking cakey. And then I'm going to use my Rare Beauty um, as concealer. And this is such a beautiful, I think, concealer. Um, it's just very creamy, very natural. This one I do like to sit for just a few minutes. Okay, so it's been, a, you know, about one or two minutes, actually, and now I'm just going to go in and blend. Such a good tip, you guys. If you have a concealer um, that just is a little bit too creamy, just let it sit there for a minute, and then you'll get a more full coverage out of it. But you got to be careful. Sometimes I have <laughs> let it sit way too long, and that can be a disaster, too. So you just got to find, you know, that little sweet spot. Yeah, so that color corrector did not look too cakey today. So maybe I just used, you know, way too much. So I really have not used this. And I am happy that today it actually worked out. Maybe the two together worked really good. You know, one's a little drier, one's a little creamier. So uh, maybe it's a just perfect mix. Came for powder yesterday. I used uh, the Maybelline um, Fit Me. And this is their loose finishing powder. And... This one is a little, I'm, I'm a little torn on as well because um, if you use too much, it could be really cakey and dry. So I just am very careful with the amount I go in with. Um, I just go in very slowly, a level at a time. The main part where I put most of the product is the T-zone uh, just to keep that nice and matte and oil free. So again, like when I go in, I'm just grabbing and then I'm almost scraping the lid and that's all I have on. But I like the powder, you know, because it does keep your makeup on pretty good. It just, yeah, you got to be careful. And it does cover my pores. I just got to be careful um, around the wrinkles because like I said, too much, it'll just really accentuate that. So <laughs> it's one of those tricky uh, powders for sure. And then, as usual, I just take a little bit on my brush and go around the perimeter um, just to get that tackiness feeling off. And for blush, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics, and this is uh, their Truffle Palette in Chocolate Orange. And, yeah, all their stuff has, like, a mirror, and these are the shades here. So I think I'm actually going to mix these two here. This one has a slight satin finish to it. Um, so it's super pretty. Oh, we're raining here in Michigan again, so you might be hearing that. Um, yeah, we've been getting some rain lately. It was really bad thunderstorms last night. I didn't hear them. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh my gosh, did you hear the thunderstorms? And I'm like, no, once I take my hearing aids out, I don't hear anything, you guys. It's really bad. Okay, so that's what that looks like. This is really pretty. I always forget how beautiful these palettes are. You guys, um, yeah, I got them a while ago. Um, gosh, I've had them for a while, and I always forget I have them, and they are really pretty. And I just realized I forgot to put on bronzer. No worries, I'll just go in now. <laughs> so I'm going to use uh, the L'Oreal Bronzer, please. Yeah, you guys, I was pretty jealous of my husband's placement of bronzer um, on that one video. Um, yeah, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So I actually, I honestly really paid attention to what he did. And he was basically just doing this, where I kind of went in, it was swirling. So, um, I, <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things that he did that I really loved, his, his placement. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that Fit Me. Um, powder and I think I am just going to bake a little bit here just to clean up that area okay let's go back into the palette I'm going to start with that orange I think I just want to be a little bit more bold on these lower lashes or lower lash line Okay, 
And then what I've been doing to take that lower lash line, and just basically, and it's even under that wing, so um, just to make it more cat-like. <laughs> Mix that uh, brown and black like I did the upper lash line. And it looks like I put way too much there. So I'm going to clean up a real fluffy brush and just kind of smoke that out a little bit. You guys, I really hope this rain stops because I do have a bunch of errands to do today. And uh, we want to give this foundation a chance. Whoa. That's pretty bad out there. <laughs> I guarantee you probably can hear this. Okay, I had to take a break. It was like hitting the window so bad. You guys would have not heard anything. Okay, so I'm going to do a little test today with my under eyes. Um, I'm going to set this one with powder. No, I'm going to set this one with powder because this one has the mo most wrinkles. Um, so I'm going to set that with powder. And this one I'm just going to use the setting spray like I normally do um, lately. And just to see if you guys can tell a difference. And... Make sure that all of the creasing is out, which there is hardly any. And I'm just using my number seven very lightly. Okay, so can you tell a difference? I can. Um, I definitely can tell a difference. This one just looks brighter. Um, but close up, it looks, it does look cakey. But let's try, you know, spraying it with my setting spray, both sides. Because uh, I will set this one um, as well, too, like I normally do. You guys can tell me if you tell a difference or which one you think looks better. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go off, put on my setting spray, do my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm clearly having an 80s big hair day. <laughs> okay, so for mascara, I used my Maybelline uh, Sky High. I love that mascara, you guys. And then I did spray my face with my um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, um, my favorite. And now I'm going to apply lipstick, and I'm going to use the Maybelline Ultra Matte. And this is in, I think, Pure Buff. So let's, it just looks like that. I think this um, lipstick will go good with this uh, look, hopefully. <laughs> um, let's take a look. Ooh, it's a little, might be a little pink. It's almost a little too pink, which is unusual. You know what I did, you guys? I put the wrong lid on the wrong... <laughs> Uh, lipstick so yeah it's supposed to be the opposite that's why I'm like this one looks like the other shade so let's take that off and start over yeah I love both shades but one's like a nude pink and this one is going to have that more brown undertone so let's see if I have the name right so this one is more taupe okay so I was all wrong <laughs> let's try this again yes this was the shade I was definitely uh, thinking in my head. These are pretty matte. They do stay on um, pretty well, well. Okay, you guys, it is now 2.04 uh, p.m. So I'll be back, you know, at some point. I, I, I'm i horrible with that. We're going to see how well that Hey Honey uh, held up because I really hope um, it does because look how beautiful it is. Such a beautiful, beautiful um foundation cc cream so let's hope you guys that yesterday wasn't a fluke and it's going to happen again today and yeah i'll be back after hopefully i don't get downpoured on <laughs> and the makeup melts off anyway okay you guys i'll be back in a little while okay you guys it is now 10 47 p.m so it's been on almost nine hours and yeah besides for the hairdo i think the makeup looks really good um, so it definitely was that primer, the cover, FX. I don't think the two played well together at all. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I hardly have any even shine. So I think that combination with the Hey Honey, that Maybelline uh, Fit Me, which is, you know, it's just an iffy powder. It's a great powder for keeping the oils at bay and 
um, keep my makeup on is just a tricky powder. You got to be just real careful with it. But I think with everything that I used, this is awesome. I mean, I'm just shocked by how little shine I have. I have more shine on this side than this side, which I don't understand. Um, the product is still somewhat on my nose, which is amazing. Um, I don't see any settling, just maybe right here. And that's because my glasses do set um, up against that area there. So uh, that's really very common for that to happen. But other than that, everywhere else it looks amazing again if you're new i don't do any touch-ups throughout the day i don't blot i don't add powder so what it is is what it is i'm super excited you guys that i remembered this time i've been wanting to show you this one product it's actually in my amazon storefront and it looks like this and it's through revlon and it's like a oil um, control ro roller and i guess this is like some kind of volcanic stone or something but watch this. Okay, so I'm glad that I am a little shiny over here. And I'm going to take it and I'm just going to press this against my skin and put it up here too. And you'll see that the shine is going away. And the nice thing, it does not interfere with your makeup. Um, and I'll do my nose a little bit. And you'll see that that shine just goes away. And of course my nose is a little red for me rubbing it, but um, okay, so there's a little bit of shine here. So I'll let you take a look. And you just rub it across that. And actually, it like I said, it doesn't interfere with the makeup. It actually smooths it down. So let me just double check, make sure it does not interfere with the makeup. No, yeah, it almost like yeah, mattifies it and blends it around. Oh, wow. It's really good here. Um, so, yes, this is amazing. And this does come apart. Um, you just push this ball up. I think I can't really, yeah, push it this way. So everything comes apart and you can just rewash this little ball um, and keep reusing it. So I love that little product. I keep it in my purse. I hardly ever use powder anymore. Um, because I just do that, smooths everything down, you know, and just presses like the foundation back into your skin. I'm so excited that I got to finally show you that. I've been wanting to do it with all my wear tests and kept forgetting. Okay, so again, so I never do the touch-ups. I only reapply the lipstick and I'm going to zoom in. You guys can take a look and also to remember to look at my concealer. So because you remember I did do the powder thing and the powder was on this side. So let me just pull my hair back. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can take a really good look. Okay, you guys, so we can now officially say I do like the Hey Honey. I think this is a beautiful product. Um, it's not cheap. I got mine, you remember, during that one sale, the 50% off. So it is like $40. So uh, it's not cheap, but it is a very nice CC cream. All right, you guys, if you did enjoy today's video, if you please give me that thumbs up. You know how much I love and appreciate that. I love you guys. And until next time.